Hello, I'm Mark from ExcelOffTheGrid.com. In Power BI and Excel, there is an annoying default feature, which automatically applies the change to type step, even if we don't want it. It occurs when we create new queries from non-database sources, but also when we undertake some basic transformations. So in this video, I want to show you how we can stop that occurring. So if you're ready, let's get started. Firstly, changing types in itself is a good thing. We want to be able to define the data types. It ensures that Excel knows what kind of calculations we can perform on our columns. However, if it's not used at the correct point in our query, it can cause problems. So here I've got a data set in Excel. It has a customer reference, a name, a last order number, a date, and vouchers remaining as at the 31st of December, 2021. I've selected a cell inside my table and then I'll click from table slash range. So Power Query has now opened up and the change type step has already been applied. Now you might be wondering, why is this even a problem? Now the first issue to note is the fact that in the vouchers remaining column, we have a date explicitly stated in the column header. And in the formula bar, we can see that this is used in the M code. Therefore, when we get the next version of this report, and it may be the vouchers remaining as at the 31st of January, 2021, then this query will create an error. Secondly, if we look at this name step and we just click on it and then go to split columns by delimiter, and then choose a space character and click OK, you'll notice over here in the applied steps that we split the column by delimiter, but then had the change type step applied again, even though it was already a text data type. So let me delete both of those. So this change type can create unnecessary steps, which we just don't need. Also, change type doesn't always get it right. Here in the customer ref column, it has decided that we have a whole number. But if we scroll down to see our full data set, you'll see that we have errors from row 201 onwards. If I click on that error, you'll see that the ref was AC001. And this has occurred because Power Query only uses the first 200 rows to determine what data type we should use for that column. The second issue is the order number. It's changed the order number into a decimal. However, if we go back to the source, we'll see that our number had leading zeros. And as order number is a reference, we really want to retain those leading zeros. Also, we have a date but yet our date has been treated as text. And this is because I'm based in the UK, but yet this is a US date format. So therefore we can't use the normal change type step. Instead, we'd need to use the using locale option. So hopefully you can see that this is a big problem. Okay, so how can we fix this? Well, let's turn off this auto changed type step. So from the file menu, we can go to query options. In the global section, we have data load and we have these three options. Always detect the column types, detect the column types and headers according to each file setting and never detect column types. So if we have this middle option selected, then that is based on what option we have selected for the current workbook. However, rather than applying it on a workbook by workbook basis, let's select never detect column types. I'll click OK on that. That should now be applied as an application setting. Let me close this query. And now let's create that query again. And as you can see in the applied steps window, those change types have not been applied. That's it, that's all for me today. Hopefully this short video has made you more efficient in using Power Query. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll catch you next time.